Hey everybody and welcome back for part 9 of core fundamentals of web development. In this video we're going to look at generating dynamic HTML through JavaScript using ES6 template literals so that we can dynamically display our links. Alright let's go ahead and get started. So a couple of things that we're going to do first is one we want to we want to put in some dummy content for our links array. So I'm going to come over and I've got some dummy com content that I'm going to copy over and paste this in right here. So this is it's pretty simple. It's just um, our array of links now is going to start off with three different links: new link one, new link two, new link three, and and a couple of categories for each. All right, so I'm going to save that. Now, I also just following this, I want to go ahead and call a function called display links. All right, so we'll need to go ahead and, and create that function. Let's come down here to function display links. Got to make sure we spell function right. Display links. And what display links is going to do, it's going to iterate through our array of links and it's going to dynamically generate the HTML that goes along with it. So what we want to do first is we want to go into our link list and I guess first we need to get a reference to that. So let's come back up to the top. Let's get our link list and it's an ID of link list. So document query selector link list. All right, say that and then I'll come down here and the first thing we want to do is just empty out what's inside of link list. So link list enter HTML is going to be what's inside of, of this element, the, the links li or link list. And that link list is a, is a div. We can see it uh, over here. We get, let's see, where is it? Out of our link panel, we've got our link list here. It's a div. So in our HTML, it's just going to wipe out, oh, wipe out whatever was inside of there and make sure it's empty. So let's see, we should now, uh, even though we're starting with this one array or this one item, um, displayed through our HTML. If we go in and save this, we should call this display links function. And all right, so it looks like we've got an error over here. Cannot set property enter HTML of null. So it looks like my link list is null. So let's make sure we got this right. Document query selector link list. And then let's come back in our HTML to just verify here. Links list is the ID. So this will be an S. And then I'll rename this to be S. And then rename this one with s as well so let's save this and now when i reload we should see that now after calling display links it wipes out everything that's inside of our link links list div so we got to remember that s so next we want to iterate through uh each item in our array so remember we've got the dummy data up here for new link one two and three so let's go ahead and i'm going to show you guys the four let of let me type it out real quick and then i'll explain what it is so this is basically a for loop of sorts to iterate through some sort of iterable, in this case, uh, an array. So it's saying for each uh, item in our array, we're going to assign it to link. And just to kind of prove a point, let's go ahead and just log out what link is. So we'll say this. We should see three links get printed out. So it's just, it's just the individual link in that links array. And this is an ES6 uh, syntax. This is going to be a relatively new way to iterate through a uh, an array if you don't need to if you just need to get every element you don't need to know what index you're at you don't have to use a traditional for loop now you can use the for let of and then what we want to do is for each of these links we want to generate a link so let link html string and we want to get a string to represent each of these links now the string is basically going to be the HTML that we see in here. So for each one of those links, we want to generate this HTML. So I'm just going to copy this over and kind of put it here with, let's say, let's comment it out for a second. So there's what we need to produce. Now this would be really difficult to produce with just regular strings. And and let me, let me explain what that means. So if we wanted to start working on this, we could do, um, let's say we wanted to do uh, this H1 part here. So this H1, we would actually need to break up into several different things because it's not just one string. We also want to have inside of it, we want to have the link title be dynamic. So we'd have to close off this string, then add the link.title, and then open up a new string to finish it out. But with ES6 template literals, we now get access to 
we get rid of a couple of these things. The back ticks to use as strings. Now our back ticks allow us to keep all of our variables and our and the rest of the string in line, and we can define our variables by doing dollar sign, open bracket, and then close bracket. So now. With our template literals, we can also span multiple lines. So notice this stays green. If I did a, uh, let's say a let str equals, and I tried to span that across two different lines, I'm gonna get an error in Visual Studio Code. Template literals with the backticks here allow us to go across multiple different lines. So we can actually, let's, uh, let's back this up here, and let's put some space in here. And I'm basically just gonna copy in all of this div content into our template literal and make sure I get rid of that other quote all right so this is uh, the basically the HTML string that we're looking to generate so for each one of our links we want to generate this HTML string but we want to do things a little bit differently we want to add in the dynamic values of our link so instead of using uh, a hard-coded James Q quick website here I want to come in and do a variable so it's going to be link.url and then for the title it's going to do the same thing do a variable for link dot uh, what title all right so we got that one and then we'll have a uh, link date which we're just going to start off with a um, date dot now all right that's probably going to be capitalized there so date dot now let me just show you what that's going to be uh, date dot now this is gonna print out kind of an ugly version of a date and we, we can go back and clean this up later on um, but after that then we have our div uh, for our category so the categories that we've got for this link and we need to go through and basically do another iteration to iterate another set of content for our uh, individual category so I'm gonna close off our template string here so that's gonna be the first part of it then we want to do a for let category of link dot category. So there's another for of. And inside of there, we want to add to our HTML string. So link HTML string plus equals. And we want to put basically one of these in there. And that's going to be using template literal. And then instead of just a hard coded category here, we're going to take the category that we're currently on. All right, so we're gonna go through for each one of these and add in uh, all of this stuff. So everything that we can up until we need to dynamically go through the list of categories. For each one of those, we'll create that. And then we need to go in and add a little bit more to close out everything. So link HTML string again, plus equals, template string opener with the back tick, and then it's gonna close off right there. So for each one of these, we're gonna go in and generate an HTML string. And we actually don't need, uh, we actually don't need that span because we got that taken care of. So we're just adding in the closing div tags here. So for each one of these links, we're going through and we're generating a dynamic HTML string up until the point where we need to do a dynamic generation for each category within the categories array, doing that. And then lastly, we need to add this to link, links list, enter HTML, equals and then set it to the link HTML string so if I save this if we're lucky we should see so we should see all of these being printed out but we're only seeing the last one here so the mistake I made we need to do a plus equal on this link HTML string so that way we're building it up as we go instead of just replacing it so save this now we should see link one two and three and so one of the things that I'm noticing after looking at this is our category, let's see, could use some padding, or excuse me, margin, so let's go margin, and then we'll just do uh, zero top and bottom, and then five pixels left and right, save that, should look a little bit different, that might even be too much, let's do two pixels, just to give it a little, little space there. All right, so we've got our dynamically generated, um, our dynamically generated HTML for each of these links, and what we wanna do is come into add one more thing to our submit button handler where this is where we want to re-display our link. So we'll call display links and just have it rip through all of those again and go ahead and add it. So let's try one more time. We'll do new link something.com whatever 
something as a category and then submit and we should see here's our new link and the one thing that's a little bit different here is we're seeing this posted at the bottom but really we should see that at the top since it's the most recent so instead of using push onto our array we can use unshift which is to me kind of a weird word on for what it does but basically it's going to put the element at the beginning of the array instead of at the end so i'm just going to type in some dummy data and we should see that this is going to pop up at the top now so that's actually getting really close to our full functionality and looking pretty good now one of the things that we can wrap up that we didn't finish earlier is this display link categories so remember we stubbed this function out but we didn't actually uh, build out the functionality so what we want to do is we want to come into let's see our added category so let's get const added categories So we've got our added categories there, and we want to come down in the, let's see, what function was that? Display link categories. We want to come down and grab that. So we're going to do similar to what we did with our link, link list. We're going to clean out the inner HTML. So we're going to wipe it out. Then we're going to do a for let category of link categories. And we're going to go through and generate a category HTML string and that's going to be basically what uh, the same thing that we've got down here if we just kind of look so here's what we want to add to the inner HTML of the added category so let's just assign this it's going to look just like that and then we're going to say added categories dot inner HTML plus equals category HTML5 string so let's save this and we should see as we're adding categories, they should pop up. We can get rid of this. Pop up here. And that makes me realize that we're going to need some margin. So another thing we can fix real quick. Let's add margin on the bottom. So five pixels on the bottom. Save that. And I guess maybe we should put this on the categories or added categories is what the idea is. Added categories, five pixels. Now we see a little bit of space there. We can bump that up even more. 15 pixels just to put a little space between itself and the submit button and cancel button all right so we've got that uh working that's really what we wanted to finish out there so we're we're ripping through each of these categories and the link categories and then we are uh, dynamically generating the html just like we did with our links and now they're being displayed up here and the one thing that uh, we might want to do when we do a uh, submit or actually a cancel so we've got these two categories here when we do a cancel and then open it back up, those categories are still gonna be there. So maybe what we wanna do is, let's see, where, we've got some functionality in here that we can probably meet. So in somewhere in our add, in our submit button, we're cleaning out basically our form. So I'm gonna do a function here called function clear uh, link form. And I'm gonna have it come in and do this exact same thing and call clear form, clear link form. All right, I'm gonna paste that stuff in here. So this is a function that's now reusable. And I'm gonna call a clear link form anytime I hide it. So anytime we decide to hide it, we do a cancel. I'm gonna call clear link form. All right, so let's make sure this still works. Let's uh, pop this open. Let's type in some categories, type in a URL, something, 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 title, and then do a cancel and then open it up again. And it's cleaned out except for our category so I think we need to make one more call to uh, in our in our clear link form to display link categories or we could actually come in and and just set the inner HTML of added categories to empty string to go ahead and wipe that out as well so let's take one more look here we'll do a plus let's type in some stuff stuff there's categories, I'm typing too fast, I'm messing up my computer. And then a cancel, and then we'll open up again, and now everything's gone. We can reload or re-add stuff, URL, da -da -da, and submit, and there that is. And then we can look back here, and it should be empty. All right, so that's exactly what we want. So we've done some really cool stuff in this video. I hope you guys see the power of ES6 template literals, especially when you're doing big, heavy, complex strings like this. It makes it so much easier than concatenating different strings and doing all that kind of crazy stuff. Uh, it really becomes pretty clean and it's it, and it's kind of a joy to work with. Now, a couple of resources for you guys to look at. 
uh, just MDN web docs here. You guys can go check out template literals and the four, uh, the four of, the four let of, whatever you want to call it. And if you actually look down at uh, down at the almost the very bottom, it'll tell you when this came into place. And you can find this for for the other things that we've talked about as well. If you look at these document this documentation, uh, but you can see this is ECMAScript 2015, so ES6. So these are really cool new features of JavaScript, or at least a couple within the last couple of years. Uh, that you guys should be taking advantage of because they're really helpful, especially in the scenario that we just looked at. So that's going to do it for this video. We've got our dynamically generated HTML with ES6 template literals. And in the next video, we're going to work on adding and deleting the functionality for our links. So I'll see you guys in the next one.